the Celtics point guard dropped his career high 47 points against the Mavericks in an overtime win. And that makes him our adrenaline performer. It is presented by Toyota. Let's go places. And not since Larry Bird has the Celtics scored at least 45 points while shooting over 70% from the floor. Robin, so many statistical accolades for Kyrie Irving, and he's playing through the mask. Is he in the MVP conversation? Yeah, I think Kyrie has worked his way into the conversation. I would not say that Kyrie is the MVP in any way, but you got to give credit where it's due. I mean, the guy has been well-rounded this year. He's part of the best defense in the league. He's playing unselfishly, and he has been sensational in the clutch. But when you're actually talking about the MVP, I mean, there's a case to be made that Al Horford's the MVP of the Celtics. The MVP of the league right now, it's the Jameses. And I, by default, will say that LeBron is the MVP every year. And and I really mean that. And, And this year, LeBron may be having his most efficient offensive season ever in a year where they lost Kyrie and have replaced him with the likes of Derrick Rose and Jose Calderon and and the Cavs are on a winning streak now you know just a couple games out of second in the Eastern Conference they're six and one since the Arthur meme in the non-LeBron James division it's James Harden who leads the entire NBA in points in assists and is leading the team with the best record in the Western Conference, a team that has played the majority of the year without Chris Paul. No, you make good points for the Jameses, both of them. But I feel like Kyrie is not only in this conversation, I think he's going to start gaining ground. Because, well, maybe it's not exactly like the NFL, which I think is a completely narrative award. The narrative helps. And for Kyrie, basically looking like Isaiah Thomas from last year, 2.0, all of those fourth quarter comebacks, the clutchness that you mentioned, which the NBA defines as five minutes left in the game, a game that's within five points he's leading the league in scoring in those uh, situations so I think the fact that they've had their eighth comeback win during this 16 game winning streak they've trailed by double digits in five of those you have the fact that Gordon Hayward is going to be injured for the year yes Al Horford is great the, the Celtics have a very good team bench a little bit thin but I think that the narrative helps Kyrie a lot here leaving LeBron you know going off to start his own thing no doubt about it but I think it's narrative and numbers and the other guys have both of them um, more than Kyrie his scoring is down his field goal percentage down slightly assist down slightly LeBron is at his career highs in field goal percentage and three-point percentage and Kyle Korver maybe is the second best player on the team and James Harden has almost won it a couple times and maybe having his best season ever as the lone orchestrator for most of it